today I want to show you Nokia's Android launcher called Z Launcher. It's a beta release at the moment, so please do keep this at, uh, in mind. First of all, I'd just like to show you that I have got root and he is working on my phone. I just installed it now like a normal APK. I didn't use root cloak or anything. It just worked for me, but I'll leave the links in the description if you want to use root cloak. So as you can see, I have got root. I'll just show you that I've flashed a ROM as well. Quickly, I've got Android 4.4.3. So anyway, back into the launcher. It's a very minimal launcher and it's supposed to give you access to everything on your phone quickly. So this is just a app, app drawer. It just lists your apps alphabetically. You don't get the option to go to your widgets. You can go into your settings from the quick uh, top right, sorry. You got web search. I'll demonstrate this to you later. You can reset the launcher, the default launcher. So if you want to switch back to your launcher, that's very easy and convenient. This basically just removes all your previous data, so you just start new. It doesn't. It will start like a fresh launcher. This is the tutorial that you get as soon as you um, in, open the application the first time. It just shows you how to use it with the scribbles, and then the standard launcher information, help and feedback, and if you want to update the APK. So, if you hold on in the home, uh, sorry, home screen. If you hold on to the apps. You don't get any extra um, what's it, options like you know renaming or anything like that or changing the icon. You only got one home screen. Hitting the top right, the clock opens your clock application, and hitting the calendar part opens your default calendar application. So on your home screen, it lists the application according to how often you've used them. The ones you use the most will be on the top. Another very really good feature about this launcher I really like is a unique feature. You could just scribble a letter of an application or a contact and it will search it for you on your phone. The fourth character that you type or you scribble will be automatically taken to a Google search. I'll just do some demonstration for you. So if you haven't got it on your phone, the second character will straight go to a Google search or your browser history. So I'll just show you now that you can do a Google search. So I'll do XDA developers. So once you hit the fourth character, it will show XDA developers or all the rest of the searches and then you can go to your browser and just go straight to that page. I'd just like to show you one more thing that I didn't use a um, root cloak ex uh, exposed module. I just um, For me it just worked normally but I would leave the link in the description for any of you guys that want to use that method to try this launcher. So that's about it guys. Um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, all the links will be in the description.